uh, now I will tell you how to make the product conditions on the rotational product and as well as on the translational product surfaces so read the case file uh, this is our mesh file 45 degrees mesh file and now display the mesh This is the inner radi uh, this is the inner cylinder, and over here is the uh, outer cylinder, and these two surfaces are the rotational producing. We can show the full producing by going to the views, define, and fluid, and rotational. The angle is uh, for this case is 45 degrees and set and the axes are the z axis in this way you can show the full geometric model and it contains the uh, each sector is 45 degrees so it contains the total f 8 sectors a full sector model this is a uh, 360 degree model so inner wall outer wall okay now let's turn off the product repeats so change the number of repeats to the one and now we have the only 45 degrees sector, sector. and display the product uh, boundary conditions that is the uh, uh, that is the rotational producy and now we have to set the boundary condition for the product A and product B which are the transitional product but uh, since we cannot define the double producy in the ICM that's why these boundary conditions product A and product B are uh, shown here as here as the walls as you can go to the boundary condition and you can see these conditions are st still are shown as the wall and their number is 25 and 24 now to make them the product we use the text interface so click and uh, then go to define then boundary conditions and then modify zone and then make product this one you can write the just MP short for the make product and it will do the trick so first zone is 24 and second 25 now since uh, this product is transitional so we write here no uh, then the option is create product zones yes and auto detect transition vector yes now it's done go to display and uh, you can see the one wall is deleted that is product B we show that uh, we are successful in creating the periodic boundary condition so now write down the over uh, click the periodic A now you can see the color is changed from white to the sign color we show that the boundary conditions are well defined now for time being uncheck the periodic C and now display so you can see that the we have the pair of uh, periodic conditions in the transitional direction and uh, you can set the boundary condition to display the repeats of the translational domain so go to the translational and instead of angle the right down here repeats to the 2, 3 or 4 
now you can see that uh, it is giving you the other domains as well and this shows that the the length of the cylinder is infinite thank you